Let's check in with Jack. He's got the Cafferty file today in New York. Hi, Jack. It's a humble little dwelling that Romney lives in, isn't it? He's worth about two or three hundred million dollars. And if he's elected, I, maybe he won't move. He might <laughs> choose to stay there. It might be a step down moving into the White House. White House, nice place. Yeah, private company, uh, government watchdog group, now says more than 10 million White House emails are missing. Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington described this massive hole in White House email records last April. At that time, they thought the number was 5 million. Now they say it is more than 10 million emails. In one of the great understatements of this here Christmas season, the group says this revised estimate, quote, highlights that this is a very serious and systematic problem at the White House, unquote. Both Crew and another private group called the National Security Archive are suing the Bush administration to try to get information about all these missing emails. The White House email problems first came to light during Special Prosecutor Patrick Fitzgerald's investigation into the leak of CIA officer Valerie Plame's identity. It's worth noting what a critical time period these missing emails represent. Why, it's from March of 2003 to October 2005. That would include the start of the Iraq War, right up through the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. As the director of one of these groups put it, it doesn't get more historically valuable than that. Given the way the White House handled both the war and Katrina, it's also quite convenient that suddenly this mountain of stuff is missing. By the way, it's against the law that these emails be destroyed or lost. They're supposed to be saved. The Presidential Records Act of 1978 mandates White House communications be preserved. Another law broken, another example of nobody doing a damn thing about it. Here's the question. What should be done about what may be more than 10 million missing White House emails? Email us. We promise not to lose them. Cafferty file, CNN.com, or go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file. Well, 10 million. 10 million. That's a lot. Yes, it is. All right, Jack, see you in a few moments. Uh, uh, the, qu <laughs> the question, what should be done about what may be more than 10 million uh, missing White House emails? Rose in New London, Connecticut, we have the best technology in the world. Use it. This reminds me of Nixon and Rosemary Woods, his secretary. If we could find those missing minutes of tape 30 years ago, we can find missing emails today. This little circle is closing. The decider doesn't get a pass. He squandered too many already. Make him accountable. Jeff in Maryland writes, be patient. Justice will be at hand next year when voters get to hit the delete key on the Bush-Cheney regime, just as the West Wing hit delete on all those emails. Mark writes, come on, Cafferty, are you really taking valuable airtime to discuss another oops, look what the Bushies did again in the White House? If that's the case, please remind folks and your closest friends about the missing files in the Clinton travel office. Did you spend this much time on that subject, which resulted in many people losing their jobs and being vilified? Herb in Georgia, we have 10 million missing emails from the White House. Who runs the White House? The American people voted him in twice. How dumb are we? Does the idiot Congress know how to spell the word impeachment? Martin writes, I believe they were locked up with Hillary's millions of documents that nobody can see until after the election. Jay in New York, I think we uh, know all too well by now that there's no such thing as a missing email, no less millions of them. Everything put online is out there in cyberspace. I say send some 15-year-old hacker in there, and I bet you he'll find them pronto. And the last uh, email is from Ronnie in Pennsylvania. Uh, what should be done about the lost 10 million emails? Easy. Cafferty should have to read every one of them when they're found. I have no idea what Ronnie means. Wolf? He just wants you to read 10 million emails. All right, Jack, stand by. Thanks very, very much. I'm not a crook.